Hi, this is Paul from Embroidery Source. What I'd like to show you today is how easy it is to convert a low resolution bitmap object, especially one with a complex edge that would take quite some time to digitize manually. Uh, we're going to convert that to a, an embroidery object very quickly, it usually takes under a minute. First thing, click the Corel Draw Graphics tool. Now, if it's the first time in the day you do this, it'll take a few seconds to load. But in this case, I've already had Corel open, so it's pretty much instantaneous. In the Corel user interface, we go to the file menu and select import. Now, I'm going to choose from my desktop, uh, a, uh, sorry, a GIF image of the map of Australia. I click import and I click on the screen to position the image where I want it on the page. Now, if I zoom right in, you'll see that it's uh, really quite a uh, uh, low resolution image that's very pixelated. Okay, we'll be back up to the top of the page. There it is. Now, to convert that to a, a high quality vector object is very simple. I simply right click on top of it and choose Quick Trace. Now, Corel has, in the blink of an eye, created a vectorized um, version of that design and if I move the if I move the vectorized object to one side um, you can see the bitmap behind I'm going to move the vectorized object back into the center again and now arrange menu and ungroup and then all I have to do is click the convert button instantly we get a filled object which I can now edit just the way I can edit any digitized object so I click the reshape tool now I can change the stitch angle um, I can change uh, I can insert new input points delete input points or reshape them now in this case I'm just going to click the select tool again and now down here I click on what's called the simple offsets tool click that now it's already set to produce a run stitch outline and the number of offsets is two so this means it will outline the map twice with a running stitch and the spacing is zero and that means that my run stitch outline is going to follow the vector outline of the map exactly so i click ok and straight away there's my running stitch outline i press the b key to zoom in you can see my running stitches and the zero key to center it on the screen now, don't forget, of course, with a large complex fill object like this, there will be push and pull compensation required. It's no different to an object you digitize manually. So the stitches will pull in uh, on the sides of the object and they will tend to push out towards the bottom or in the direction in which the stitches progress. Thanks for watching. Please join me again for another in the series of our how to Wilcom training videos.